Harry's wife. Why she won't go away. Harry's wife is like an unflushable turd. You don't like her. You want her to go away. But she just fucking won't. Of course, many of you have a degree of investment in her. Because having gorged on videos, read articles, looked at stuff in the press, etc. You've come to thoroughly find her an odious narcissist. And you continue to watch the shit show because you want to see her fall. You want to see her crash and burn. You want to see her circle the drain and then go down it. That is understandable. There are others who would say, no, I'm not interested in the slightest in her, but I do wish that she'd disappear. I can't seem to do anything without her popping up. She's there in my news feed. She turns up in articles that I'm reading in my favourite newspaper. There's something on the radio, there's something in the press about her, there's something on television about her. If it's not her, it's old ginger bollocks. They are ubiquitous. They're like Japanese knotweed. You think you've cut them back and then they grow back twice as fast. Many people would like her to simply go away. And of course, she has bleated so often about wanting privacy, people would say, please, I will grant you your privacy. Please retreat to your 47,000 flushing toileted mansion and sit there doing your meditations and baking your banana bread and never darken our doorsteps again. But she can't. She can't do that. Some narcissists are able to straddle the world in a way that you don't get to hear about them. They are known within particular circles. They have extensive fuel matrices. But they're not written about in celebrity tittle-tattle. They're not the subject of opinion pieces. They are able to assert control over many people, drawing vast amounts of fuel. But they do so in a way whereby their network is a more proximate one, rather than being known in a famous or infamous way. Many narcissists, of course, don't have any international, let alone uh, or national, presence. They're known amongst their locality. Some friends, some family, some colleagues, some neighbours. Their fuel matrix is not particularly large, but it serves an appropriate purpose. They are not compelled to want to seek fame or infamy. There are some which do, believing that they're talented and seeking out fame. But often, many narcissists are sufficiently served with having a relatively small fuel matrix, because they're still able to get lots of fuel proximately from those individuals. Harry's wife was never going to do that. From an early stage, she believed that she was going to be a queen of those around her. And therefore, her narcissism has always sought to try and get her to become famous. It led her into the world of acting to increase her coverage and exposure by having her appear on television and in films so that more people would know about her meaning that more people would then be able to provide her with a greater level of fuel, that that would create the opportunity for more character traits to be acquired, and also, of course, to earn more money, to have a better facade to manage. The narcissism sniffed out that, for her, driving her into the world of entertainment would enable those prime aims to be obtained in increasingly larger amounts. Unfortunately for her, she lacked the talent to back that up. And therefore, if the rumours are to be believed, the narcissism drove her to then to offer certain sexual favours for the purposes of earning money. Now, interestingly, there are many people in the world of entertainment, in acting particularly, who went down that route that they perhaps had to appear in low-budget pornos, that they had to prostitute themselves to pay the bills. 
and they did so as a means of getting themselves started. In some instances, they provided sexual favours, the old casting couch route, in order to give a boost to their career. They did what needed to be done. Rumours circulate regularly about now famous people and what they once did to keep the wolf from the door and to progress their careers. So the fact that Harry's wife purportedly went down a similar route is not one that's too surprising. Of course, many of these individuals are driven by their own narcissism, that they see that they're entitled to get to where they need to be and see no difficulty in behaving this way in order to get to that particular point. I had to do what was necessary. So Harry's wife, if the rumours are correct, and engaged in the yachting enterprises in order to earn a living, she wasn't the only one that is engaged in doing that. But she was driven by her narcissism telling her, you're destined for bigger things. You are important. And do these things. Assert control over these rich men by the provision of spicy poontang. And of course, thereafter, having made use of her father, she moved on to Trevor Engelson, the first or possibly second husband, depending on who you ask. He was involved with Corey the chef, created, uh, got onto the scene in Toronto, and then, as we know, came over to the United Kingdom. All the while, her narcissism has propelled her, driving her to control people, to create, to draw them into her fuel matrix, so she can then draw fuel from them, get those character traits and residual benefits, and then, having bled them dry, pop them on the shelf and move on to the next person. Rinse and repeat. Now, she has got to a position of well, could she be any more famous? There's probably some fortunate people in an Amazonian tribe who have no idea who she is and somebody out there in the Gobi Desert who has the good fortune of no knowledge about who she is. But most people around the world, were you to say her name, would know who she is. She's acquired wealth. However, she is unpopular and increasingly so. And that amounts to a threat to control. Many of you would think, Read the room, wake up and smell the coffee, and see that people don't like you, and be content with the monies that you've obtained, and the status that you've obtained, and go away and lead a quiet life with your family. She can't. Her narcissism will not let her. Notwithstanding how unpopular she is, she keeps popping up, because her narcissism drives her to do so, so she won't go away. She has the thirst for fuel. And retreating to a smaller fuel matrix like many of the other narcissists that have is not something that she can do. She's tasted the big time. She's had the crowds cheering, the applause. She has all these comments about her on social media. Article after article after article, some generated by her, some generated by the cynical press knowing that there's a huge audience for anything to do with Harry's wife. All of that results in the provision of a massive amount of fuel. In effect, it causes her to be like a bloated pig that is fed on so much food that if you were to take that away from her now, it would be catastrophic in the sensation of starvation that it would cause. It would also lessen the opportunity, of course, for her to make money, one of her favourite things, and a residual benefit. So the simple fact is that she won't go away because she's had such a taste of the high life, if you will, that her narcissism simply will not allow her to retreat from it. And she is not going to stop wanting the prime aims because her narcissism will cause her to want those prime aims until she draws her last breath. Driven by that narcissism, driven by the need to control, driven by the need to extract fuel from people, driven by the need to acquire their character traits and bolt them onto her construct, driven by the need to acquire those residual benefits by managing her facade, acquiring access to networks, acquiring status, and of course that all-important money. She's driven again and again to make an appearance, to pump out a PR puff piece, to turn up and make a boring speech, to announce another rejigging of the TIG, to invite speculation as to the next programme that she's going to create, 
to invite speculation as to the Fashon range that she's going to release. And not only is she driven to always remain around like an unflushable turd, the fact is that for so long as people want to learn about what she's doing, even if it's from the perspective of the equivalent of a grudge fuck, cynical newspapers, cynical broadcasters know that she generates views and clicks. And it will only be when those start to dry up that they at least will no longer publicise her to the extent that they have once done. But even when that happens, she still will not go away because her narcissism wants her to remain at the position that she has achieved and she will keep doing so so for as long as she can find some mug to assist her in that regard. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.